Hello world, I am What If Studio, and today we are doing What If Deku was Cursed to Toga Part 3, Season 2. So, Toga rolls around in the, in the bed with Deku. Of course, they've started to have a much, much better time ever since, well, defeating that villain together. They feel like they've become boyfriend and girlfriend all over again. It's like a new refresh start, right? And Deku start, um, gets up from the bed explaining that, you know, he felt like he has had the same exact thing with the rest of the heroes. He's so happy. She's like, oh, that's nice. Um, why, why do you need them when you have me? He's like, well, I need friends, of course, Toga. She says, oh, yeah, friends. He's like, well, aren't you their friends? She's like, eh, it's, it's kind of mutual. They keep me safe. You know what I mean. He says, oh, of course. <laughs> I forgot that you were such a businesswoman. I'm not. I just know what's best for me. He says, ah, I, I see. Well then, Toga. How about you tell me about the burns on your back? She says, oh, uh, those. Don't tell me it was Dobby. It, it was. Toga, were you attacked by villains while I was away? Actually, a lot happened while you were away. Tell me everything. I don't think I really should. He says, what, what was our policy? Our policy was honesty, right? She says, it's not for honesty's sake. It's for my sake. Oh. Oh, I see. Well then, as he starts to get up from the bed, suddenly, overhaul smashes straight through the straight through the building, smashing through two different walls and then out into the plaza as glass shatters everywhere. Deku, um, Deku and, to and Toga were both grabbed while they were in the bed. To um, Deku falls down to the ground as Overhaul lets him go, realizing that that's Deku. He says. Well, you weren't in the plan. At least it got Toga. As he, like, starts to get up and leave, Deku's like, We just started! Where do you think you're going? As he immediately releases all of his bloodshed, stopping um, uh, Overhaul in his tracks. The sweat drips from his forehead as he looks down to see Deku um, in absolute rage and agony that he's even touching Toga. You're not going anywhere, pussycat. Come back. As immediately, Toga wakes up from, you know, getting knocked out from that freaking just truck of a hit. Toga's like, what the fuck is happening? Uh, as Overhaul is now stunned in place, um, he's unable to move his whole body. However, he's just floating in the middle of the air now above the whole UA high school. He said, um, Overhaul's like, Oh, I see. Well then, you really want to start this? Fine. I had a backup plan anyways. Dobby and Muscular drop down now. As they start to, as Muscular falls from the sky, his, his body sort of dangling everywhere as if he's a zombie. And, um, and fucking, what was his name? Dobby. And Dobby appearing um, out, out, out of some sort of flame vortex of blue and white flames. Dobby's also gotten a lot stronger since last time. Take this on, god of bloodshed. De Deku's like, that's not what the god I am. But whatever, I'll play you a little game. He says, you have almost a minute to get me out of here. Until I get out, uh, until I break out of this bloodshed and beat your face in. So, be sure to wipe up your plate, Deku. As he's like, oh, you just wait. As a muscular immediately launches himself at him. His hand sort of dangling behind because um, muscular was suddenly reincarnated by somebody. We don't know who yet. Muscular punches him with 100% of his brain's capacity, breaking his arms in. However, it starts to regenerate as he 
comes up with the uppercut straight to Deku's stomach. This time it actually went through Deku's defenses, throwing him into the into the building behind him. Do, um, Dobby sort of opens up a fl flame vortex behind him, welcoming in thousands of villains that spread throughout the rest of UA. Cults, uh, fucking gangs, literally anything were in there. People that worship Cthulhu and were able to summon tentacles throughout, um, started running throughout the building, trying to cause, um, uh, sort of mania. And while that had happened, before when Deku had released all of his bloodshed, when he says, come back here, as, um, that affected literally everybody in the building. Everybody's like, it took All Might to his knees, and Miracle to one knee, as he says, what the fuck was that? There must be some huge villain in the in this in the facility now. Is he attacking some of our guests? Shit! Everybody, everybody, get ready! As everybody start um gets back to their feet, trying to. Some people were knocked out by the intensity of the of the blood pressure, um, bloodlust and stuff. Deku um continues on his fight with uh. With muscular, however, muscular is using 100% of his body's capacity. Usually, your mind stops you from using 100% of your capacity, and your because you'll start breaking your arms if you do use past about 50, and then you'd just you'd like destroy everything if you were to use 100%. He's using 100% a lot of this time while using all of his quirks, and this was one of the quirk that was given to him was reanimation. And, uh, you know, if it was given to him, then all, all for one, um, all for one must be alive now, which is what Deku assumes. Someone must have, have revived him, too. No way. That couldn't be it. There has to be something else to this. This doesn't feel right. As then, um, Muscular grabs his leg out from a dark part of the building that he was hiding in for just a second to gather his thoughts. And then throws him and whips him around using his leg as a leverage. And smashes his face straight into the, into the glass. The shards of it stick straight into his face. The pins and needles all around his, his body now. Out of, because he's been smashed through glass almost three times now. Deku grabs onto um, Muscular's arm and then throws him as hard as he can. Um, using um, his own gravity. Um, into the glass and then out just to buy him a second to fight deck um, Dobby as he ch as he jumps straight at Dobby Dobby creates something called a, a flame dome which stops Deku from jumping up sh um, straight up to uh, overhaul as Deku hits the, the top of the flame dome it sprouts out gigantic bursts of flame that um, try to consume him however he jumps straight off of it um, using it as a platform himself and then falls down to the ground. As Dobby says, my flame vortex, my flame, my flame dome and vortex are my newest abilities. He's like, I don't give a fuck. As he immediately charges straight at Dobby, Dobby summons his flame dragon, a, um, a living being made out of flame. As Deku punches straight through that, it doesn't even matter. It just evaporates to mist. He, sp um, he spits on the ground as his hand is, is like, on fire literally as he spits onto his hand and sizzles at it on his chest dobby's like no way you killed it in one punch have you gotten stronger than before he's like we've all gotten stronger dobby just gods gods stay their strength stay in their strength however so no i haven't as he's like god damn it where did you go muscular as then muscular Muscular's head pops out of the ground and grabs onto Deku, um, Deku's leg and rips him into the ground. Like Deku's legs now cemented into the ground, Dobby aims up a gigantic um, pillar of flame straight at his face as Dobby starts to laugh. <laughs> You're dead, kid! As he immediately um, blasts him with the power that um, far, much more power than the dragon had which would be a hundred percent of his power. Deku says, enough of this, as he explodes out with energy, 
reflecting the, the fire back up to the ceiling and combusting the ground under him, destroying all the cement and a lot of the building around him. The flame dome still holds, however, as Dobby is still alive. Dobby was burst back straight next to his um, flame dome, almost getting hit by it, which would be bad because he would also get um, torched, just like Deku did. Deku now turns his sights to, um, to Muscular. As Muscular has no fear in his face, he says, Oh, that's why it's been so hard to defeat you. He grabs onto uh, Muscular's hand as Muscular's hand actually rips off of him because it, that's how little he has left. As Deku grabs onto his head, he's like, then I'll just grab onto something a little bit more leveragey. As he grabs onto Muscular's head, he rips it out with the with the force that he could manage. But Muscular's body still moves. But how? Muscular grabs himself out of the out of the ground and then stands above Deku, headless and with one arm. He's like, what the fuck are you? Uh, Muscular. Um, roams over him as then he comes down with a gigantic explosive um, uh, hook to his face. However, Deku grabs onto his arm, reaches around, grabs onto his back, and throws him up into the air. Enough of these games! As he throws him straight up into the air um, and hits the top of the flame dome. With all of his rage, he threw him as hard as he could. The flame dome starts to consume muscular and fizzle out his body, turning him to nothing but ashes. This destroys the flame dome too. As Deku now sees um, Overhaul still paralyzed with, um, with uh, Toga in his arms. Deku takes a minute to breathe. I'm out of bloodlust. I'm out of everything. Is there anything I have left? As then all of the... Um, most of the heroes that were with him that were at the academy started to walk in saying that we're here Deku and then he looks around and he says oh my god you're right I had become their hero that's right and then I threw it away not this time as then um, overhaul start, um, regains his composure able to move himself now um, uh, you know, Toga squirms around trying to stab him and then stabs him on his shoulder, almost making him let go of Toga. Deku says, The God of Justice, no. That doesn't work. But you're gonna feel it. My Justice. God of Heroes. As he jumps up as fast as he can. God of Heroes! As he immediately smashes as hard as he can into, into, uh, Overhaul's face, reflecting him all the way across into a different hemisphere. His biggest punch ever, it destroys the clouds around him. Uh, Dobby realizing that now Overhaul was defeated and all the rest of the villains were also defeated, he starts to flame vortex out of there. However, um, you know, M Momo had created uh, one of those tracker things and, and shoots Dobby with it before he leaves. He says, <laughs> who knew I'd be the god of heroes, right? As Toga fl um, floats back into his arms as she was knocked out from the whole blast. Um, he says, yeah, that was a little bit too much pressure for you. I know. Sleep tight, princess. In the morning, you wake up to a new world. A world of heroes. As I would say that would be the end of this episode that was actually a really quick one thank you so much for watching i hope that you liked it just as much as i did and i hope that i'll see you guys someday sometime goodbye